Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today to talk about the Miller Digital Infinity. So, in this video, we're going to go over the features, functions, show you how to change lens, front lens, rear, inside lens, um, and just some of the different things that this thing has. So, um, I got some other videos out there classic performance digital elite. And this is an upgrade from the digital elite to the infinity. So, I got two different ones this is the relic model, and then this is just straight black model. So, you can check out all the uh, graphics that they have we'll link those down below there's multiple i really like the relic i have a relic infinity um, this the infinity has the biggest viewing range of all helmets out there it's the biggest in miller's lineup they have clear light 2.0 technology it's got x mode and it's got auto sense so it automatically senses uh, the sensitivity and adjusts to your welding area so it's got this new function on it uh, pretty awesome We've got the Newest head good at three, three and a half series, so very comfortable. The Infinity actually comes with a top pad too that you can click in, so now it's got a top pad that goes, cut, cradles the top of your head and the back of your head, so it's a lot more comfortable. Um, it is the heaviest hood out there on the market as well. So that's something you gotta think of too uh, when you're getting it, but that's because of the viewing range is so big. Uh, we got four sensors. Here, I'll pop one of these out here and show you guys. So to change that front lens, pretty simple. Just pop the side, pulls right out, and then the lens, comes right out like that. And then to get the actual ADF out of there, a little bit trickier, because it's a little bit tighter in there. It comes right out though, but I'll show you here. I use a little screwdriver and we kind of just pull it right out of there. It's just tight to get your hand in there to pull that out. So we'll pop that out. Very simple to get out of there. And you can see here, Clear Light 2.0 lens technology, digital infinity. We got four sensors on this unit, so maximum coverage. Solar assist for your batteries. Two batteries here, they're on the sides now. One there, one there, those just slide out. Um, and we'll flip this thing around here. So we got our inner lens that's just clipped in there. Um, pops right out, you just pop it out like that, pull on the front. Then we got our different mode, we'll peel that off. Turn it on, so we got weld, cut, grind, and X mode. So, pretty, uh, pretty nice, similar to the Digital Elite. Uh, remember, um, on our weld, oh, we're in X mode right now. So weld, we got right half shades all the way up to 13, down to eight. Um, in cut mode, we got shade five all the way up to eight. Pretty nice feature. We got grind mode, just a straight shade three, so it's gonna be at the resting shade. Then we got X mode, which is recognizes electromagnetic arc. So when you pull the trigger, you create an electromagnetic pulse and then it senses that. So if you're welding outside in the sun, it won't keep flashing. And then on this one as well, we got our arc time and arc count. We got memory one, memory two. So if we like that setting, we just click on it, hold it, it'll give us memory one. You got two memory portions there. Then our arc time, obviously zero hours on this unit, but to keep track of that. And then our arc count is how many times that unit flashed. So pretty awesome, we got our on off. That's how you toggle through the modes. Pretty simple hood though. Um, I love it because of the big viewing range. And that's why I have, I have a relic and I have a black one. I have a black one in the original green, not 2.0. And then I have a relic in the 2.0. And man, I'll tell you what, it, when you get the 2.0 in that, that huge viewing range, it's awesome. You can see a lot of stuff, um, very clear. And uh, I, I just, I really like the Infinity. The only downside to that Infinity, and I did notice, is the weight. Um, it is heavy, and I will tell you that much. I, uh, it, it just pulls on your neck a little bit, but it's not too bad, it really isn't. Um, it's just noticeably different from the Elite or the classic or anything like that, any lighter hood out there. But if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks again for watching.